हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ नीरज शर्मा आई एम इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ आईटी इन बियानी ग्रुप ऑफ कॉलेजेस बिहाफ ऑफ गुरु के पी आई एम प्रेजेंटिंग ऑन माय टॉपिक व्हिच इज ईजीबी एंटरप्राइज जॉब इंस एंटरप्राइज जॉब इंस इज बेसिकली सपोर्ट द मल्टी टायर एप्लीकेशन Uh, we can say that uh, some business logics or some business application, if we want to build in Java, in advanced Java, then we can use the enterprise Java application. Basically, uh, <coughs> we have the several Java APIs we can use in modular construction of uh, enterprise softwares. So we can build enterprise software inside using of uh, enterprise Java Beans technology. So it is the uh, one of the server side uh, component technology which is using uh, the effect component, some, some uh, which is encapsulated business. Logic. Logic of an applications. We can uh, say another uh, that uh, enterprise Java means is basically use the MVC pattern, which is called model view controller pattern. Uh, we can say that uh, basically in Java uh, previously we uh, have lot of things, uh, lot of uh, softwares was there, <coughs> but uh, the desktop application was there, uh, the web application was there, and the another we can say that uh, uh, distributed applications there. So EJB basically used in distributed applications. Uh, on that time we can say that enterprise application or business applications we can build into the enterprise Java Beans. So it is work on MVC pattern, uh, model view controller pattern. Uh, worked with the multi tier architecture we discussed about earlier. Friends, uh, we discuss about the what is the enterprise Java Beans and why we use the enterprise Java Beans basically in the enterprise application in Java. Basically, uh, that's the reason that uh, we have multi tier architecture means we have different layers, multiple layers uh, we can access or we can uh, implement into the enterprise applications. So we can say that uh, uh, for different applications like Bean classes, we have specific type of APIs uh, we use, uh, which is built in particularly to the EJB part or to particularly Bean part. So we can say that uh, we have client server architecture. So basically when the client send the request to the server, uh, then this request to be forwarded to the web server and after that web server to be forward this request to the specific type of Bean server, which is called uh, Enterprise Java Beans container. So this container will be forward this uh, application to the or particular request to the particular application server which is called application server session beans. So we can say that three type of uh, uh, beans is there is called message driven bean, second is called entity bean and third is called session bean. So these three type of beans are supported to the enterprise Java beans basically. We, say, we can say that a specific type of APIs we can use uh, for different beans implementations. Friends, uh, let's discuss about the three type of beans. Uh, we already discussed we have a three type of beans like entity beans, message driven beans and session beans. So first of all, we should discuss about the entity beans. Basically, we have separate entities uh, like we have a multi tier architecture and multiple layers is there. So we have different type of layers and these layers have the separate separate entities and these entities are, have the different beans bean classes and these bean classes will be uh, find the some specific type of functionality and these uh, functionality can be send the request to the particular uh, bean APIs using of bean APIs to the particular specific EJB server. Basically we use this EJB container uh, to get the information from the web server and uh, proceed it to the particular uh, application server. Uh, message driven bean is basically useful uh, when we use pass message to one server to another server or uh, it can be server, uh, uh, one, ser one message to another message to one device to another device we can say. Uh, session bean is basically useful when we maintain the sessions. It means if we are having some kind of a specific type of uh, 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 particular uh, sessions like uh, specific time, uh, the page should be open uh, or web page should be open on a particular time, then we can maintain the session. So these type of uh, beans we can use it. Uh, let's discuss the EJB architecture. What is the EJB architecture basically? We have lot of things in EJB architecture, but basically we should be know about uh, first of the basic thing, uh, how we can uh, define the EJB structure. First of all, we should know about the client server architecture, how the client should be send the information to the web server or send the request to the web server. Then uh, this web server we send uh, information to the EJB EJB server. EJB server uh, is a container which is having some type of EJB beans, uh, some kind of a specific APIs. So uh, further lead will be proceed to the application server and this database part uh, which is managing to the application server, it can be distributed database or maybe some data mining or database, uh, we can say data warehousing may be uh, used inside this web server. So we should be know about that how we can uh, implement the all the structure or all the information from one place to another place or one message to another message. Friends, for 
थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो प्लीज लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब योर यूट्यूब चैनल एंड विजिट और वेबसाइट गुरु गेपियर डॉट कॉम थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू सो मच